What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're back working on the 335D. Uh, today we're going to be doing a EGR uh, delete. It's actually going to be uh, taking the EGR cooler itself out, putting a block off plate in place of the port and the exhaust manifold where the EGR valve went, and then also, or the EGR cooler, I'm sorry, where the EGR cooler was attached to the exhaust manifold, they're going to have a block off plate there. And then we put a little spacer in place of where the EGR valve was between the throttle body and intake manifold to still allow our air to flow through properly and for everything to line up properly. So I'm going to walk you through how to do all that. So let's get to it. All right, I want to show you guys when you're taking this part off of this air box over here, there's actually a locking tab right there that you have to press in in order to get that this tube to pull out of this box. So when you're trying to pull the tube out, just make sure you press this locking tab on the side and the tube will pull right out. All right, so I wanted to show you guys doing this. This intake hose, when you're taking it off, there's a clip here, slide clip here in it that you're gonna pop up with either like a pocket screwdriver or a pick. And then you're gonna pull the hose back just a little bit till it's past this groove here in this uh, throttle body. And then once it comes back that far, you're gonna have to push the clip back in, otherwise it hits this exhaust gas temp sensor. And then you're gonna pull your hose off and push it over here out of the way. I like to unplug my uh, throttle body wiring just so when you're trying to push this hose through this area, you don't pull on this wiring too much and damage it. So I unplug the throttle body wiring put it up over here and then flex this hose over here out of the way to give you the clearance to clear to get your fan out. So uh, fan connection unplugs here, just two locking tabs on it, set that plug connection up out of the way. And then in the corner over here is a T25. You're gonna undo that and then you're just gonna pull your fan straight up out of here. Just make sure that when you do it, you unclip the hoses along the bottom. There's actually a hose right here in the middle that you're gonna to wanna to unclip so you don't break it or the hose clips that hold it on. And then once you unclip that hose and undo that T25, we're gonna pull our fan out. All right, so we got our fan out. Like I told you guys, there's a hose that's clipped in here, here, and here. Just make sure you pop the hose out of these clips and set it behind it so you can pull your fan straight out. And then also, one thing that I forgot and I noticed when I was trying to pull it out, if you're looking up from underneath the car, right in this corner, there's a transmission cooler there's two transmission lines that come in it and some coolant hoses come off of it and there's a screw right here t25 as well that actually holds that transmission cooler slotted into this area this radiator or this fan so when you're laying underneath the car look up on this side of it driver side you will see a t25 you got to pull that out too and then your fan just pulls right out All right, so now that we got the fan out of the way, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get everything on this. So we're gonna start taking this EGR cooler off. Uh, gonna have to take the coolant hose here off. It again has just two snap style clips that you take out with a pick like this. And then we're gonna undo our plug connection here for this. Take our vacuum line, supply line here that comes from the bottom of uh, the engine itself to this off. Um, there's another coolant hose connection right here. Can see that right here another coolant hose connection right here and then there is a 13 here and a 13 right there holding the EGR cooler to the block and then there's also two uh, T45 I believe T50 I'll correct myself here in the video once I figure out what size they are back there that hold the EGR cooler into the exhaust manifold itself. And then over here, you have a screw style worm gear connection here um, that clamps this to the intake hose here. And then a uh, plug connection here for your EGR temp sensor. So we're gonna get all this stuff taken off and we'll get your EGR cooler pulled out. All right, so now that we got our EGR cooler out of the way, the next step is going to be to install this EGR block off plate. So this is actually blocking the EGR passage off in the exhaust manifold. Uh, it comes with this plate and then the two screws. And then this side of this plate needs to go towards the exhaust manifold, the side with a little dimple in it because there's actually like a little centering uh, flange on that exhaust manifold. Uh, you're going to put that in and then the other thing we have to do after that is block off this coolant hose here and then the other coolant hose that is actually down underneath here that coolant hose right there needs to be blocked off. So there's a cap for both of those that comes with the kit for the EGR delete. And then that is your flange right there that that little block off plate's gonna go on. So we're gonna get that block off plate put on. 
We're going to get these two coolant hoses pop off, uh, block off. And then the next step will be to replace this EGR valve here in the intake system with just the little spacer that takes up the space. It's just a free flowing hose. So we'll get these EGR port blocked off and the two caps put on, and then I'll show you guys how to do the um, spacer for the EGR valve. All right, so now that we got our EGR cooler completely deleted, our block off plate in place, our two coolant caps put in place, and then I also t capped off the T in the vacuum line for the uh, open the opening flap on it. This guy you can either tie off to the uh, wiring harness here or you can just let it hang down there. It's not gonna hit anything. The dry bolt's down a little bit lower, quite a bit lower than that. So uh, I'm gonna show you last step after doing the EGR cooler is to replace the EGR valve with the uh, block off or the spacer plate. This is intake manifold removed from the car. It's a little bit easier for me to show you. Um, your throttle body is held on by these three screws here. Those are five millimeter Allens. And then in the back, is four more five millimeter allens holding the EGR valve on to the intake manifold. You take those four millimeter, uh, four five millimeter allens off, and then here on the intake manifold, there's actually a bracket that comes over the top of this and comes down to here to this 11. You're gonna take this 11 off of this intake manifold stud. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, it's this bracket right here, 11 millimeter right there, comes off. Um, Take the two 5 millimeter islands on the top, take this bracket out of the way. Again, two 5 millimeter islands on the bottom. This is your replacement uh, spacer that takes up the space of where the EGR valve was at. Um, make sure when you're putting it back on that you put it up with this little boss here, orient it up. Uh, there's a bracket that's on the EGR valve that holds this wiring in place and also has a little tab off the side of it that holds the engine cover on. Uh, just make sure this is oriented up so you can get your screw back in there to, uh, to put your bracket back on there. But... This is all done, so the only thing we got left to do is to put this uh, trim piece in here, the little uh, intake tube, and then your cowl here, and then everything's all done with that. So let's get this put all, all put back together, and we'll be done with the job. All right, so as you guys can see, EGR cooler, not too hard to do. Uh, most of your stuff's on the front of the motor. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, just remember the two screws that hold the EGR cooler into the exhaust manifold are not magnetic. So do not drop them because you will lose them into the abyss of the engine bay. And the replacement ones that are go with that block up plate are also not magnetic. So if you can do anything to keep those screws on the end of your socket when you're putting them back together, please do so. Um, I've used butyl rubber, um, sometimes a piece of paper actually shoved in the end of the bolt. Um, and then shoving the socket in there will create enough tension to keep the bolt from falling off. Just a few pointers. Um, the make sure you do your uh, little vacuum block off for this EGR cooler. Uh, it'll create a vacuum leak and cause issues with all of your uh, wastegates and stuff like that for your turbos. Um, other than that, there isn't really much else to it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this whole job, please comment down below. I'll be sure to answer any of your questions. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.